This is the third video in a series on the internationalization add-ons for Concrete 5. The first two videos cover all the features in the free add-on, and you should definitely take a moment to watch them before this video. This video focuses on the enterprise features, uh, and it really assumes you've watched the first two. So let's just jump right in. There are two additional pages that you get with the enterprise uh, internationalization add-on. Uh, first one is this translate content report. Now this is really useful if you've got a whole team of people working on the site and you don't necessarily want to train them to use in-context editing. Uh, sometimes you've got people distributed around the world and you just need a simple interface to go to that shows every piece of content they need to work on. So that's what this is geared as. It's really designed as a CAT, a Computer Aided Translation Tool. So uh, you can see I can pick from all of the languages that we've set up here and we'll just go to Russian. And I've got some filter controls I'll show you in a second. What we're looking at is a list of all of the content that I'm going to need to translate to finish the site translation job. So that includes stuff like properties at the page level, uh, any blocks that are on the page. Uh, if there's functionality in those blocks, uh, like a survey or that type of thing, it will be included as well. So let's just go ahead and start using this. I can go to this first page about the website, hit edit. And you'll see I get the same dialogue that I would get if I actually went with in-context editing to the site. So I don't know Russian, so I'm just going to make it jibber-jabber. Uh, but as soon as I save that, uh, that's been updated. And behind the scenes, we've actually changed the status of this page to started. So you can see there is a filter here, oops, over here, uh, that shows whether something has been started or not started. And as soon as anyone starts editing any of these rows within a page, uh, the whole page has been started. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one here. Uh, this is the content block on that page. And I would simply rewrite this in Russian. Delete all this English content. Uh, double check to make sure the links are actually pointing where you want them to link in this new language. Um, I'll just go ahead and delete this and leave the jibber jabber. Hit update. And you can see so this page has now been started. We actually have done everything we need to on this page. And so I can change this drop down, the action drop down, to a different status. Uh, now we've got statuses that we think map to most common project team's needs. Um, you can say, I'm, I'm stuck on this, I need assistant, or I'm coming back, I'm in progress. In this case, it's completed, I'm going to hit go. So now the page reloads, and you can see I am uh, filtering by not started. That page doesn't show up at all. Uh, if I change that to thing, show me things that have been started, it'll show back up. And if I, um, if I use this completed status, I can see, there we are, it's completed. And um, you have a nice reporting interface to see everything that you need to see. You can also limit that by different people who are working on the site. Uh, in this sample site, we're all using the admin account, but you can set up different accounts and you know, be able to see everything that just a specific translator is working on. The other key feature that you get with the enterprise version of the internationalization add-on is a web GUI for translating the interface. Um, now, the entire interface can be translated using uh, MO and PO files. Uh, if you're uh, comfortable getting in with the back end, you can do that with the free version. Uh, and what we do is we wrap any strings that we're using in themes or forms or custom block templates uh, with a particular function called the T function. And what that lets you do is abstract all those strings out and pass a language to a different file and say, look, I want to you to go get the French version of this string or the German version of this string. And again, you can do that by hand if you want to with the free version. The enterprise version of our add-on gives you this nice little web GUI. Uh, so you can actually go in and say, OK, which strings have yet to be translated for Italian? I'll hit Translate. And you get a list of all the strings that the site has parsed from the override directories. And you can click one, put new content in, and just work your way through them, uh, quickly translating everything that is in your theme and isn't a, a content block or functionality block. Uh, save that, and it'll add up, automatically generate the MO and PO files, and you can quickly translate your whole interface. So those are the enterprise features for the internationalization add-on. Uh, they really are geared to make a, a larger project team that is working on a multilingual site uh, have, have an easier time and, and spend less of their time on, on mundane tasks and really get through the project quickly.